Hi and welcome to our channel, the best place to learn how to use and master Canva. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you five new features in Canva that probably you don't know yet. These five features that I'm going to show you today are free, super easy to use, are going to save us a lot of time and also has been requested for a lot of users. So I'm so, so happy to show them all. Stay until the end so you don't miss any of these new features. And if you are ready for this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Okay, so I am here in my Canva homepage and for the first feature, I'm going to create or open this presentation doc type. So let's click on presentation. And now Canva is taking me to the Canva editor and you can either create your presentation from here or you can use one of these templates. So I'm going to use this one and for this example, I'm going to take three of these slides randomly because I'm just going to show you the feature, right? So the feature that I'm going to show you now is how to download video presentations. For those of you who don't know, we can actually record our presentations in a video format and we can be inside that video. So I'm going to show you how and then I'm going to show you how to download these videos. And as I already mentioned, everything that I'm going to show you today is free. So I'm super happy to show you this. Okay, so here we have our presentation. Let's say that you already have uh, added and customized all your slides, add all your text and all your images. And now uh, we are going here to the navigation bar on top. Let's click on the three dots. And here you see present and record. So let's click here on the icon and then click go to recording studio. So now Canva is opening this new tab and it's showing us the view or the camera of your computer, your webcam is uh, already there available. You can actually change the angle if you wish. And then you can also select your microphone. If you have different webcams, you can select uh, the webcam that you prefer and then start recording. So I'm just going to do a test here. I'm going to record something really, really quick. And then I'm going to show you the new feature. So let's start recording. Okay, three, two, one. Hey guys, how are you? I'm just doing this video as a test. You can see here that we can change our slides and talk about everything and explain uh, everything in this presentation. Then we are going to click and end recording. And here Canva is uploading our video, our recording to the cloud. And then we are going to see the new feature in just a couple of seconds. Okay, so here, before, what used to happen is that we were uh, able to just access to this link. So we were able to copy this link and send it to our colleagues or to our students, this link via email or Slack or chat, you know, like any other communication tool. And our colleagues or friends were able to view this video like this. So I'm just going to paste the link on my browser just to show you that they were able to view. Okay. Hey guys, how are you? I'm just, oh, it's a little bit uh, too loud. <laughs> but basically they were able to see this video. And what we can do now, which I really, really love, is that we can download here our video before this option was not available in Canva, so I'm super happy to uh, show you this because you can use this video later on for, I don't know, maybe your YouTube channel or any other social media, Instagram for, you know, like an Instagram TV or any other uh, social media or 
any video that you need to create, you can use this video presentation as a video format. So I'm super happy for this new feature. Okay, so my video has just downloaded and I'm just going to show you. Hey guys, how are you? So this is the video format that you are going to uh, get after you download your presentation, which I find really awesome. I had said it like a million of times, but <laughs> I just wanted to show my gratitude to Canva. So let's go to the second feature. Okay, so the second feature that I want to share with you guys today is this one. So I don't know if you have seen, but sometimes when you are watching a PDF or reading a PDF format, you can actually hover on top of the email address, any of the email addresses that you see on the file, as for example here, you can click on it and then you will be redirected to your email inbox and you can type like hello and you can start writing an email to that person. So we can actually do that now with Canva. So let me just go back to my Canva editor. Okay, so let me just uh, create one new page here and let me just copy these text boxes to do this really quickly. And I'm just going to, let's say, uh, type here email. And then here, I'm just going to type Okay, so let's do this example and as you can see, I just added two text boxes. You can do it by pressing T, the key T, and you will be um, inserting this text box automatically to your design or you can go to the menu on the left hand side and here you will see text you can add a heading or subheading or body text and like that you can add a text box to your design. So you can edit anything on your text box but when you add now an email address like this one to your design and then you download it as a PDF. So this is the page number two. I'm just going to download this page number two as an example, or let me just go and download page one and page two. Just going to wait a second. Okay, so once you have all your text uh, ready and you are sure that your email address is written properly, we are going to the navigation bar on top and then download. Okay, so I have my PDF already downloaded into my computer and I'm just going to open it. And so we have page number one and then in page number two, I have my email address. And now when I hover on top of it, I have access to this feature in which if I click on it, I have access directly to my email inbox. So this is super, super useful. And I think it's going to help a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners. The third feature that I'm going to show you today is going to help us save a lot of time. So uh, for example, in my case, I happen to use the same Canva document for different Instagram posts. So for example, I'm going to uh, templates and I'm going to type Google search. And let's say that I'm going to create one post with this one, I customize the text, everything. I have it ready. This is going to go live on Monday, let's say. And this one is going to go live on Tuesday and so on and so on. So I have different, different documents or posts in the same uh, file. So let's do it like this. Maybe let's try to find a different one or oh, like makeup. Okay, so I have three different posts but now if we give them uh, names, so for example, this one, I would like to remember it uh, by typing, for example, the sky post. And this one is about uh, eating healthy, so healthy diet. So you see here next to the name, the number of the page, I can actually start renaming 
each of these posts so this one let's say this one is makeup so now that I have renamed each of these pages I can go here to download I can select either PNG or JPEG so let's do uh, JPEG just for the example and then I'm going to select all the pages done in download so we are just going to wait a couple of seconds and then Canva is going to download all these files as a zip file so you see here how to zip file save and then let me just open here this folder and as you can see here we have the name on each of the pages so sky post we see here the name then the makeup we have the name and then healthy diet so this is saving me a lot of time because previously i had to change the name for each of these posts manually after downloading them to my computer even if they had the name already here in canva i had to do it again on my computer so now i don't have to do it and we are going to save a lot of time with this new feature okay and just to clarify this feature is available only if you download more than two pages because if you download one page then the file will get uh, the same name of the document the canva document that you have here so if you download any of these pages as a single element or single file let's say i'm going to download just the first one that says sky post done download this one will be named as the canva document so it will be named how to find so this is working if you download more than two elements two uh, documents or two files at the same time okay and before going to the next two features that i want to show you today i wanted to let you guys know that we have some canva courses 10 Canva courses actually available on Skillshare so if you have a Skillshare premium account you can access all of our courses for free and actually we have an affiliate link in the description of this video uh, with this link you can access 14 days for free in the platform and if you happen to go to the platform without our link you will get only seven days so make sure to use our link if you haven't tried skillshare before you can take all of our courses and as well you can take all the courses from other teachers in the platform so that's pretty cool they have a lot of photography design video editing like so many things many uh, categories uh, available on skillshare so really really recommend it the link is in the description okay the feature number four that i have for you guys today are new download extensions so what do i mean by this when we go to the navigation bar on top and we click on the three little dots we are going to see this menu we are going to preview all the download options all the share options so we have here recommended we have share print and below all these different options in print we see all these new extensions so these were not here before and we have all of these platforms that honestly i don't know them all but if you happen to have one of these um an account in one of these platforms it's going to help you uh, save time and also save memory on your computer because at least with the platforms that i know is that you can connect uh, your account with canva and then with just one click you can actually send your designs to that platform so you save time because you don't have to download the, the file and then upload it again to that other platform and you are also saving memory on your computer because you are not downloading the file or the document everything is going to be directly uploaded uh, to that platform and then here on share we have another new extension so i'm going to click on the see all button we're going down here and this is another application or platform that recently was added to canva 
So as I already explained, with just one click, you are if you are connected to that account, you select the design that you want to send to that platform or application and then save. So this will automatically uh, send this design to that platform. Feature number five is actually a mobile feature. And I'm really happy to show you this one because this is going to help us a lot when we are going to be designing with our phones. It's going to help us be more precise. So I'm editing here this wallpaper design and I want to add these hearts here on top of this circle and I want to cover the circle but as you can see like some little parts are still not covered and I want to be very very precise but with my finger I cannot do it because Canva is helping me with these guides and it's kind of like taking the heart to, towards these lines so it's kind of difficult to be precise so if you pay attention below the design we are going to see a menu we can move it from side to side and then here next to position we see this button that says notch when we click on it we have access to these arrows and when we tap on it we are moving our element one pixel so let me just try to move it with my finger first and then with the arrows i'm just tapping 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 to be super precise here and trying to position my heart really on top of this circle so i'm just going to be closer maybe make my heart a tiny bit bigger and then move my heart just with little taps to the left <laughs> and bottom until the circle is completely covered by my heart so yeah this feature is going to help us a lot or is going to help mainly the people who is going to be designing with their mobile phone so that's super super useful if you stayed watching the video until this point i really hope that you liked the five features that i showed you guys today so if you liked it just give it a thumbs up and also i'm going to recommend a couple of videos right here in which i show you some other hidden <laughs> or new features that you probably don't know yet so those videos are super recommended and also i'm going to recommend some other two tutorials right here and if you are interested in our canva courses i'm going to leave our affiliate link here so you can enjoy 14 days of skillshare premium for free instead of seven days that you will get on their website so that's pretty cool you can take all our courses for free and i think that's it for this video i hope you have a good day and i guess see you in the next tutorial bye